are discussing the module 7 of the organic chemical technology course and in the module 6 we discuss about the petroleum refinery and the FCC in the lecture 2 of the um, module 7 we discuss about the naphthan gas cracker because the next lecture will be the recovery of the C4 and C5 gases from the FCC and the cracker plant. Actually, you see the I am not going I have already discussed in detail about the FCC in the model 6, what are the products we are getting, what are the development that has taking place in case of the uh, your FCC, how the changes are taking place, the now the FCC that is being operated in propylene mode and even the recovery of the C3 gases propylene from the FCC that will be discussed while discussing the propylene and the model 6 of uh, model 7 and the in the subsequent lectures. So, I am not going to discuss here the C3 only here what we will be discussing in this lecture that is the recovery of the chemicals from FCC and steam cracker C4 and C5 gases. Uh, this will be the coverage of the lecture, introduction of the why we are going for the recovery of the C4, C5 gases, what is the importance of this uh, C4, C5 hydrocarbon, upgrading of the C4 and C5 codes, because how to separate from the C4, because many of the fraction which we are getting here hydrocarbons, they are having a close boiling point, how to, because this was only uh, became possible with the development of the adsorption technology, with the development of the some of the solvents. Uh, otherwise, earlier it was the separation was also difficult of the close boiling component. Similarly, in the C5 also the same problem was there. So, typical composition of the C4 and C5 fraction, because many of the products which are getting from the C4 and C5, uh, they are very important valuable uh, petrochemical feedstock. So, we will be discussing in detail about the product profile of the C4 and C5 hydrocarbon, then the processing of the C4, C5 cut from the steam cracker and the FCC, separation of the butadiene, isobutylene and butanes, these are the three very important raw material which you are getting from the C4, C5 cut for the organic chemical industry or the petrochemical industry, isoprene and cy cyclopentadine that is the from the C5. Another very important is steam and the earlier actually we started making the MTB or DTB or the team that was the oxygenate from the C4 and C5 cut and especially the MTB and as I discussed earlier that there was some problem in case of the MTB, leakage of the MTB and as MTB is highly carcinogenic, then the in some of the developed country they have there is ban on the use of the MTB as oxygenate. But the but at the same time MTB which you are getting that can be cracked to get isobutylene uh, for the synthetic rubber because the pure isobutylene that you can get. Ethyl tertiary butyl ether again that is one of here instead of methanol that we are using ethanol or the team that is what we are getting from the C5 steam of the cracker plant. With the rising demand of the ethylene and the propylene, there has been a tremendous growth in the steam cracking of the hydrocarbon during the last four decades and as I told you that the now the FCC that is the integral part of the any refinery you cannot imagine a refinery with the FCC or the hydrocracker. So, FCC so uh, with the coming and the with the requirement of the propylene um, we are going to have more and more FCC in the gas in your gasoline as well as the propylene mode. So, the steam even the steam cracking because just to meet the requirement of the um, rising population which is going to be 7 billion world population. 1.3 around 1.2 plus in India. So, how to meet that requirement of the various chemicals. 
So, the steam cracker and the FCC they are playing very important role and lot of the development that has taken place and new uh, furnaces, new cracker plants and new because the there was also one of the constant during the initial stages that was the supply uh, the especially the natural gas is then propane supply that was the problem in the initial stage, but now the has you cannot afford to lose the natural gas and all the natural gas that is being that has to be utilized. So, the more and more cracker plant based on the um, your gas cracker plants are coming. FCC has been also developed into a major upgrading process in the petroleum refinery as I told you for the conversion of the heavy fuel oil into more valuable products ranging from light to refines to naphtha and middle distance. Now, FCC are being operated in the propylene mode. So, this already I had discussed about the how the changes that is taking place in the FCC, even changes in the raw material which are taking. Now, you are talking about the residue FCC also. So, the even the product which you will be getting that will also vary depending upon the operation of the FCC and the feed stock. So, the large amount of C4 and C5 compounds are produced along with the production of ethylene in the steam cracker and the gasoline in the FCC. So, this because the as I told you during the F fluid catalytic cracking, although earlier most of the refineries they were operating the gasoline mode and the propylene that was less, but now we are that is the propylene that is going as high as above 15 percent, 15 to 20 percent or as it may be 25 percent. So, the now the um, large amount of the C4 and C5 compound they are available from these plant. C4 and C5 steams are important source of feed stock for butadine, oxygenates, synthetic rubber, chemical intermediates which are finding wide application in the organic chemical in industry. With the increasing demand of C5 hydrocarbons and oxygenates, upgrading of C4 and C5 steam from steam crackers and the FCC that is the catalytic crackers is important to the economic performance of the above process. It also provides a rich resource of reactive molecules which forms the backbone of the synthetic rubber industry as I told the isobutylene or the butadine or the isoprene which you are getting from the naphtha cracker. The quantity and composition of the C4 and C5 steam depends on the severity of the steam cracker operation and the feed stock being processed. As I told you, I discussed while discussing the uh, naphtha cracking, the, the product steam which you are getting that will totally dip upon the type of the feed stock. Uh, let me clear here two things about the regarding the C4 and C5 steam. You must know about the difference between the C4, C5 steam of the FCC and the C4, C5 steam of the cracker plant. What is happening in case of the C4 and C5 of the FCC? We do not have the beta infraction that is very negligible amount is there, but in case of the cracker, naphtha cracker, we are having lot of the butadiene, especially in the naphtha cracker. So, the wherever we are having the naphtha, as I told you, the 52 percent of the feed stock is through the naphtha cracker and still um, most of the um, your cracker plant, they are earlier based on the um, naphtha feed, but some of the now the gas based cracker plants are also coming. So, the whatever the product we are getting that will be different in the composition x uh, s, s, uh, your beta dean fraction will be only in the crack, uh, naphtha crackers not in the FCC. The rest of the processing steam which you are having for upgradation they are almost similar. Uh, this is the typical composition which I was telling that the in case of the uh, your here you see the butadiene percentage that is there in the butadiene, isobutene, isobutene, 
1 butene, 2 butene, um, both the butenes are there. This is the typical composition of the steam cracking from the C5 fraction that you are having. And here you see this isoprene and the cyclopran, these are the two very valuable products there. Uh, this is not butenes here, but uh, that will be the N uh, means that will be the um, isoamylenes which are present, the amylenes which are using. So, that is there. So, the C5 cuts from the steam cracker and FCC can be processed for recovery of the valuable C5 chemicals. Steam cracker C5 cuts contain unsaturated hydrocarbon that can be upgraded, particularly the isoprene and the cyclopentanine as they are present in reasonable high concentration when naphtha feed stock is used. Uh, this is the typical composition of the uh, C5 cuts and here you see the percentage of the isoprene around 30, 13 percent. So, that will vary to 13 percent that may be there. Pentadine is also the cyclopentadine uh, is also because now there is a solvent that we are using the cyclopentadine desorbent that we are using. So, the importance of the uh, cyclopentadine at the same time iso and this I was telling the, there in the butene that is the that was the methyl butene not the butene C4, but it there was methyl butene which we are using for making of the team. These are the we can see the broad range of the product you are making from the butadine and the so for the development of the synthetic rubber is concerned that was only because of the availability of the butadine and the SBR that is the styrene butadine rubber. So, that is the still the major portion of the rubber that is from the synthetic uh, uh, styrene butadine rubber. So, the butadine that has played very important role in the overall economy of the cracker plant where you are having the naphtha cracker because lot of the butadine that is available. So, these are the some of the products uh, because in case of the uh, here is the both the SBR that you can make different grade of the SBR that can be there, polybutadine rubber because normally many of the petrochemical complexes instead of going for SBR because if you are going for SBR then you need the ethyl benzene, ethyl benzene to styrene. So, they are making the poly, polybutadine even in Haldia they are making the polybutadine and uh, not only in the lens Hydra they are making the polybutadine even some other plants are also having the polybutadine. Nitrile rubber, nit nitrile means the combination of the styrene, acronitrile like rubber that you are having, pyridine vinyl rubber, SBS, SCBS, elastomer, styrene monomer, N octanol, ABS resin, MBS resin, adipore nitrile. This is the one of the very important outlet for the uh, hexamethylene diamine and adipore nitrile in the manufacture of the nylons 66 where you, are, you need the hexamethylene diamine uh, and the adipic acid for making the nylon salt and then which is the polymer to nylon 66. Then the ethylene, norborine, laurel lactam, cyclooctadine, 1, 4 betadine, this is also very important, tetra hydrofuron, sulfolane, 1 octane and other species. These are the some of the major outlet for the betadine. Similarly, the butene one because the butene one uh, that is also one of the very important feed stock and especially when you are having LLDP Como number one butene we are using and some of the um, actually the where um, plants they are making the butene one from other sources. So, butene one that is both the butenes are available that you can separate the butene SDP Como number N butylene oxide. N butyl mercaptan, specialty chemicals, one polybutene. So, these are the some of the product of the butene one. Uh, then the mixed butylenes, 2 butanol, C4 pyrolysis gasoline, methyl ethyl ketone, 2 uh, propyl heptanol, malic analyte, higher oxo alcohol, C4 alkylate, propylene, because the C4 steam which I 
uh, I discussed while discussing the petroleum refinery, I told you the alkylates are they are going to be important um, part of the uh, reformulated gasoline and already in other developed country in other uh, are the some of the middle east country they are already having the alkylation plant there and the um, about uh, I think it is around 10 to 12 percent of the total gasoline from the al alkylation process. So, the C4, C5 ice that is going to play a very important role. Similarly, the other com, um, your isobetylene which I told you that is very important isobetylene that you can go for the manufacture of uh, MTB, ETB, polybutylenes. These are the three major apart from the long list is there butyl rubber, polyisobutylene, methyl, methyacrylate, isoprene monomer which you are getting, pyroxide uh, intermediate that you are adding and tertiary butyl mercaptan, butyl alcohol and some of the specialty chemical and diisobutylene. This is the uh, product profile of butane acetic acid malic and iodide. 1,4 butanol, butyl lactone, propylene oxide, tertiary butyl alcohol. This is the complete list of the product which I discussed there. The mix C4 steam, butadine, isobutylene, M MTB, TB, 1 butene, the mixed butenes, and butanes. So, all these products already have discussed separately in detail and the various product, valuable products which you are getting from the C4 steam. Now, let us discuss, we have discussed about the C4 steam of the um, various products which are getting from the C4 steam. As I told you, the one of the very important um, product are the hydrocarbon C5 hydrocarbon that we are getting that is the isoprene and these are the some of the uh, major uses of the isoprene. Another very important uh, constituent of the C5 steam is the 2 methyl butene and 2 methyl butene 1 and 2 methyl butene 2. These are the two actually the hydrocarbon that we are using for making of the stem. Synthetic mass that is also we are using Mi, benzene, hydrogen, these are isoamylenes that we call the amylenes. Uh, hydrogen peroxide catalyst 2, 4 dimethyl phenol photographic color complex phenidone which you are getting there, the crop protection chemicals, pharmaceutical industry, amylenes, tertiary amyl, methyl which are telling that the, this is the same amylenes that team we are getting, pentenes, organic synthesis and polymerization in vitro. Cyclopentadine that you are making the chlorinated hydrocarbon, hexachloropentadine, agrochemical, then the cyclopentadine. Uh, cyclopentane, elastomer, pharmaceutical, crop protection, flame retarder and then the another um, important product we are getting piprin for the polymers and the malicon. This is the complete list of the C5 hydrocarbons already I discussed that the, from the isoprene what are the various product we are getting and the um, these are the various actually the uh, major product derived from these uh, hydrocarbons which are getting from the C5 steam. Now, let us discuss uh, the processing of the C4 steam because we are getting C4 and C5 cuts. So, let us discuss for the C4 cut from the steam cracker because in normal the C4 that has to be separated from the C5. So, C4 cut from the FCC and the cracker plant. There is not much difference in the as I told you in the processing of the C4 steam after the recovery of the butadiene because the butadiene is only present in case of the naphtha cracker plant not in case of the FCC. So, the after the extraction of the butadiene the other steam which is left the processing scheme is same whether it is from FCC or it is from the naphtha cracker. C4 steam butadiene from C4 steam of the naphtha cracker and the gag is first recovered. 
it is more in the, it is higher in the naphtha crack, gas crack, it is less, followed by separation of the isobutene, because first stage the separation of the butadiene from the other C4 means the isobutene, isobutene, butene, 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 uh, butene 1, butene 2, uh, from C4 steam FCC and cracker using various process like ethrification, hydrolysis, cracking, adsorption, hydro, uh, hydro isomerization, all those process that we are using for the separation of the various steam. And adsorption is also because the you see the OLEX process for the separation of the some of the closed boiling point uh, olefins that we are having in the case of the separation of the um, uh, butene 1. Butadiene is the important raw material for the production of uh, large number of the synthetic rubber and the polymer such as styrene butane. Already I have discussed about the various outlet of the uh, butadiene. Other fastest growing use of the butadiene is in the manufacture of adiponatile and the hexamethane diamine which I told you in the manufacture of nylon 66. Because nylon 66 and nylon 66 these are the two major synthetic fiber which are playing very important role in substituting the conventional uh, cotton because the in case of the tire cut uh, lining we are using the nylon 66 uh, which is having the higher melting point than the nylon 6. So, steam crack and catalytic dehydrogenation of the butenes are the two major source of the other sources of the butadiene. Butenes can be recovered from the C4 are produced by dehydrogenation of the butanes because the butane is also available in that steam. And that is why the even the butanes which are there that can be used for making some of the valuable products. So, let us discuss about the butadiene, what are the sources of the butadiene. Here I am discussing butadiene because the butadiene one of the important chemical and so the we are instead of discussing separately I am discussing in this chapter. The sources are steam cracking of naphtha, other sources are also there because you see the cracker, the steam cracker that is not very old. So, the earlier also the butadiene is available and as we are long back we started in Bareilly that was the synthetic and chemicals Bareilly where they are the SBR that was uh, started long back before coming of the your cracker plant. So, catalytic dehydrogen of butenes, catalytic dehydrogen of butenes, dehydrogen dehydrogen of the ethanol. This was the process that was being used for the butadiene earlier when the it was not available from the cracker plant. Uh, this is the actually the reaction that is taking place in case of the catalytic dehydrogen of the butenes to butenes, two catalytic dehydrogen of butenes to butadiene. This is also solid, this is also butadiene. So now, let us discuss about the separation of the butadiene from the other C4 fraction. So, first stage is the uh, selective hydrogenation of the feed star to remove the asthenic compound, which is not needed in case of the when we are using the butadiene. Uh, for the synthetic rubber in the polymerization that is undesirable part. Here the catalyst as we discussed there in case of the naphtha cracker also palladium catalyst very commonly in the hydrogenation reaction. Then the next step is the extraction of the butadiene. So, we are having the two methods when the extraction by cupra, uh, cupra ammonium salts are the extractive distillation using the dimethyl formamide and other solvents are also available. The absorption of the butenes tend to 15 times less than the butadiene. So, the because the uh, butenes they are having the close boiling point um, to the butadiene. So, preliminary ab absorption of the acetylene compounds by 20 percent weight solution of the ammonium acetate and the dissolution at 65 degrees centigrade followed by the dissolution of the acetylene compound. So, the separation that takes place and absorption and dissolution for butadiene remover. These are the some of the steps involved in case of the extraction process. Now, let us discuss about the extractive distillation part of the butadiene separation. Various solvent use are acetonitrile because different uh, with the 
continuous development there has been in case of the solvent also, because the phenol, perfural, these were the initial uh, solvent that was uh, available, but with the coming of the manufacture of the dimethyl acetamide or dimethyl formamide also that is being used. Uh, so, the lot of the changes that has taken place in case of the um, your solvent extraction processes. Here the process is step the extractive distillation of the acetylene compounds and extraction of the butadiene and separation of the other C4 hydrocarbon. This is the um, process that we are using in case of the this is the requirement of the buta, butadiene for the polymerization grade. Uh, so, the impurity that has to be removed. Now, let us discuss about the isobutylene. Isobutylene which is present because after the separation of the um, butadiene from the cracker plant that can be combined with the FCC. How? Um, because this is the how the integration or the refining and the petrochemical that may be there. So, the from the cracker which you are getting the C4 after the separation of the butadiene that can be combined with the C4 fraction of the refinery and then further processing can be done or depending upon the situation it can be separately processed in the refinery or in the your uh, the cracker plant. So, the isobutene is present in the C4 steam of the naphtha cracker and the FCC. Major application of the isobutene is in the manufacture of the gasoline bending uh, components such as MTB, ETB, alkylation as I told you in alkylation use of the isobutylene as the alkylate engine that is uh, it has a very high scope polymer gasoline that you are getting means dimerization part which I discussed while discussing the uh, petroleum refining the polymerization part. The polymer grade isobutylene can be made by cracking MTB or by manufacture of polyisobutylene because you see the here what we are getting the isobutene in case of the polymer between the pure form. So, MTB which we are getting then that can be cracked and then you can get back the isobutene. So, isobutene is used in the manufacture of butyl labor which is made by the co polymerization isobutene with a small amount of isoprene. Isobutylene from the C4 steam cracker. First, isobutylene is converted to, to MTB by purification and recovered by cracking of MTB to get polymer grade isobutylene, as I told you. So, either uh, suppose the in case of the after the purification MTB direct it can go to the gasoline port or further it can be cracked to get the isobutylene. It is also obtained by hydration of the isobutylene containing the uh, steam and then um, then cracking. Because the isobutylene containing steam that will be hydration and after hydration then the again cracking will get back the isobutylene. So, these two routes are available. So, isomerization of the butane, isobutylene can be also produced from the butane by isomerization using geolite. So, this is the separate stream it is not connected with the recovery part, but the as the butane is available. So, butane that can be used for making of the this is another route that you can get the isobutane. Uh, as I discuss about the importance of the beauty one, butane one is the co-monomer in the production of the low density polyethylene and high density polyethylene between one can be separated from C4 steam of the cracker after extraction of the butadiene and separation of the isobutylene. After the remaining fraction of the C4 steam that will be used for the separation of the butene one. Separation of the two butene involves hydroisomerization and subsequent distillation for separation of the isobutene and the 2 butene rich cut. Uh, this is the complete process that we are having the and different cuts and this is going for the 
selective hydrogenation of acetylene and then the butadiene extraction and finally, we will be getting the butadiene. Then the steam from here that can be combined with the C4 cut from the FCC, then it will go to the MTB and MTB then um, either by cracking you can get the MTB or it will go the um, your hydro deisomerization process. So, let us discuss in detail about this steam. So, this is the you see the similarly here you can go selective hydrogenation adsorption on the molecular sieve distillation for the separation of isobutene and 2 butene. Here the cracking MTB or it will go for the further separation. Similarly, methanol MTB that you are if you are interested in the MTB and isobutene then methanol the cracking or which I told you the process hydration, hydration and then the decomposition then you can get the pure isobutene of the polymer gate. So, this is the uh, process that you are getting then the hydro isomeration and the uh, finally, the you will be getting the very steam of the highly uh, pure steam of the isobutene and the tubute. So, various uh, actually the uh, options are there for separating depending upon the re requirement as in the many of the uh, some of the refined industries you take the case of the reliance what they are doing they are making the team from the C5 steam they are not going for the further part or in case of the IOC Badudra they are making the MTB. But as I told you the there is um, um, MTB is very carcinogenic. So, MTB as such it is having uh, it is not having so importance as it used to be earlier but definitely if you want to make the isobutene. So, the isobutene that can be separated or butene one because there are other routes are also for making the butene one because in the in the petrochemical complexes they are making uh, from other route the butene one because that is their requirement. But that can be separated because definitely you have to add more and more units for the separation of the uh, these C4 gases or the C5 gases. So, this was I was telling the normally what is happening you will have to combine the steam C4 steam after separation of the butadiene or the butene and then it will go to the final separation of the various product low, low purity isobutene, high purity isobutene. So, hydro deisomerization is there. So, this is the uh, process that can be used for the two butene. Similarly, this was the this is the process which I discussed about the butadiene that is selective hydrogenation of the acetylene, butadiene extraction and then the butadiene. Then the C4 cut of the FCC and the steam cracker that will go to the MTB synthesis, butadiene hydro isomerization which may be there present so and butene will be getting and then the MTB here will be MTB rich steam that will be getting. Similarly, this is the another steam that which I was telling combine it may be cracking or it may be the decomposition after the MTB synthesis or the hydration then you can get the isobutene of the polymer gate. These are the other steam that you are getting separation of the two butene. Similarly, here the adsorption molecular sieve because this was the process developed by the UOP OLEX process for the separation of one butene using the zeolite adsorbent and then it will go to the further distillation and then the, um, the steam that will contain the isobutene and the tubid. So, any of the combination that may be there in this processing of the C4 steam. Now, let us discuss the upgradation of the C5 cut for the recovery of the C5 chemicals which is present in the cracker plant or naphtha cracker especially. The naphtha steam cracker C5 steam is rich resource of olefin and diolefins which can be upgraded to produce elastomer resins and the valuable chemical intermediates. Important C5 dienes and the olefins are isoprene, cyclopentadine, piprilene, isoamylene, dicyclopentadine and the pentene 1. 
because in case of the cyclopentane what you are doing we are for first you are converting the di to dicyclopentane then again dicyclopentane converted the cyclopentane. So, I will be discussing now. The C5 cuts from the steam cracker and the FCC can be processed for recovery of the valuable C5 chemicals. The steam cracker C5 cuts contain unsaturated hydrocarbon that can be upgraded particularly the isoprene and the pentadine and the cyclopentadine as they are present in the reasonable high concentration when naphtha feed stock is used. Cyclopentadine is easily dimerized to higher boiling dicyclopentadine and separated from the C5 steam by simple distillation. Because here also the problem of the close boiling point fractions are there. So, the both the combination of the fractionation and the adsorption process are the um, distillation that we are using here. We are using the liquid liquid extraction or the extractive distillation using some of the solvent. So, cyclo cyclopentane is easily dimerized to higher boiling dicyclopentane and then it is separated after making of the di and the C5 steam by simple design. Di cyclopentane which I told you can be cracked to get back cyclopentane which is having the more value than the dicyclopentane. Then after the separation of the cyclopentane, iso uh, preen is separated by extractive distillation from cyclopentane in free C5 steam using dimethyl formamide. Because dimethyl formamide now the solvent which was not earlier available, now the many of the fertilizer plants they are making the dimethyl formamide from the synthesis gas. So, with the availability of the DMF even in case of the acrylic fiber also for the as it saw for the in the dry spinning the DMF that is being used. So, distillation remove the light sling from the isoprene preplene which is further separated by fractionation. So, after the extractive distillation we are separating the isoprene part and then the, um, the isoprene and uh, preplene fraction again they are separated from the light sling and then this is steam isoprene and preplene steam again further separated by distillation. So, isoprene 99 percent, peplene um, around 75 percent that you are getting purity. This is 60 not uh, 60 to 75 percent. Uh, now, the as I told you the one of the very important uh, product which you are getting from the C4, C5 steam that was the um, that is the MTB, TAM and the ETB. So, several oxygenated fuel components have figure prominently in the refinery reformatted gasoline, gasoline planning especially with the phasing out of the tetraethylate, methyl tertiary butyl ether that play important role. And with the ability of the alcohol also we can go for the ethyl tertiary butyl ether and already we discuss in case of the while discussing the petroleum refinery module 6, uh, the properties of the various oxygenates which we are getting, the octane number improvement in the octane number, then the oxygen content. Uh, so, all those things that already I have discussed so here, I am not going only the process how we are making the process, um, the these oxygen that we will be discussing. So, the MTB tertiary amyl method TAM which we called it and ethyl ETB these are the three major oxygenates which we are producing from the C4 and C5 steam. All oxygen fuel reduced hydrocarbons in the automobile exhaust. MTB was considered as one of the most important oxygenates used in the production of the lead free gasoline which I told you and was used produced on a large scale throughout the world. But uh, without after the environmental constraint, the problem with the carcinogenic nature of the MTB, they are in ban. And so, then again the units are change, changing from the MTB to the other product, value product. But let us discuss the process MTB, which is made by ethrification of the C4 gases from the cracker and FCC is also used for the 
production of the polymer grade isobutylene, which we discussed while discussing the uh, separation of the various C4 gases from the uh, FCC and the cracker plant. There are two processes by which the MTB is made. One is the conventional process, one is stage process and the reactive distillation, where the reactor followed by reactive distillation column, where the both the reaction distillation simultaneously uh, taking place. So, the finishing stage you can say, the main reactor and then finishing, finishing reactive distillation unit is there and so, uh, this both the process is being used for making of the MTB. This is the uh, process that we are getting here C4 cut, this is the by the conventional process after the methanol that is a, um, you are having one reactor, but in case of the your, this is the uh, your feed preparation part, this is the M MTB synthesis part where methanol that is being added for purification, then MTB synthesis reactor that is going, two reactors are there, then the fractionation. In case of the um, two stage process, we are having the re reactive distillation part also, then MTB fractionation, you are separating the MTB, then the methanol alone reactor methanol that is separated and that is again recycled to the reactor. So, this is the process, there is not much difference between the reactive distillation only the efficiency that is better, we are having the finishing stage reactor come distillation also there, that is the difference. Similar process also, uh, the same type of the flow diagram is also for making the team. This is the reaction that is taking place, uh, the isobutylene and the methanol that is reacted and we are getting the methyl tertiary butyl ether. Now, let us discuss about the ethyl tertiary butyl ether because ethanol because of the problem in case of the MTB and the, with the availability of the ethanol from the molasses root or some other root because the both the roots are there you can get from the ethylene to ethanol or ethanol to ethylene. So, ethanol that can be, but we are not making, but that can be made with the from the ethylene and then it, it can be used for the um, your ethrification with the isobutylene and for making of the ethyl tertiary butyl ether, which is a very good oxygenate and that can be used, although it is not being manufactured in India, but in the future we may have uh, ETB also. Now comes the theme, tertiary amyl methyl ether that is, is produced by eutrophication of the isoamylines which is present uh, in the C5 stream and isoamylines can be recovered from the C5 stream of the steam cracker or the FCC because uh, you see the Reliance, Jamnagari finally, they are making the team and the C5 stream they are using for making of the ethrification they are doing the combined steam C4, C5 that is going for ethrification. So, two reactive components of the isomelin, two methyl between one and two methyl between two uh, are there which are participating in the reaction and the catalytic distillation process used for manufacture of the team. So, actually this is the reaction that is taking place to um, MTB and uh, your uh, between 1 M, MB1 MB2 and that is going to after the triplication will be getting the uh, tertiary bit. This is the process actually the, we are getting in case of the chain manufacture methanol and the water feed pre wash section which is the same flow diagram as it was in case of the your MTB. So, then it will go to the TEM reactors and then uh, separation of the M TEM that will take place here. It is not combined but it is coming separately and from here the it will go for the, it is not combining, it is so you are getting the TEM from here and the rest of it is going on react for the separation of the um, your this is TEM and the from this that is going to the for the separation of the TEM and at the same time the methanol 
from where it is recycled to the system. From here it is not it is coming from the it is coming from this and it is going to the temp column. So, this was about the recovery of the chemicals C4, C5 steam from the um, FCC and the cracker plant because that is one of the important source of the um, feed stock for the synthetic rubber industry and some of the other value added product. So, the in future we may have some of the processing steam which I discuss in the refinery although presently we are only having the your MTV or the TAM and the separation of the butadiene that is mepactized in case of the petrochemical complexes. But the in the future because you see the whole processing steam that is very complicated. So, definitely that will add to the car, but in the future because we are going for the more and more economy and the uh, for the upgradation of the processes. So, definitely the recovery part of the C4 and C5 that will play important role. In the next lecture we will be discussing about the uh, some of the steam that we are gazing uh, because you see the any refinery complex petrochemical that have the three major section that may be cracker plant, that may be the synthesis gas part, synthesis gas means this, it may be the nitrogen and hydrogen or CUNH2 or it may be the your aromatic one. So, the will next lecture will be discussing about the synthesis gas manufacture, what are the various products from the synthesis gas and then the uh, importance of the very um, even the CO2, CO each actually the component of the synthesis gas they are very important and at the same time what is happening in case of the uh, synthesis gas with the coming of the new GTL technology or methanol to propylene technology synthesis gas that is going to play a very important role. So, the next lecture will be on the methane and the synthesis gas.